Hi, my name is Deanna. Um, I was part of a long conversation last night with a couple friends, <coughs> with a couple friends, and uh, we were discussing double predestination. And my question is, what is double predestination? Uh, there's a lot of misunderstanding about double predestination. There are some communities that believe in what they call single predestination, meaning that God has eternally decreed to save certain people that he's appointed for salvation, and that is the elect. But as for the rest, he simply passes over and still holds out the opportunity for those people to be saved. Now, often uh, double predestination is expressed in what we call uh, a synergistic fashion or a fashion that is called positive, positive decrees. In this respect, double predestination would mean that God positively decrees and determines in advance those whom he will save, namely the elect, and in the same method, he uh, decrees the damnation of the sinner, and that just as on the one hand, he creates positively saving faith in the hearts of the elect, he, in an equally determinative fashion, creates fresh evil in the hearts of the reprobate to make sure they don't come to belief. Now, that is not the Reformed doctrine of double predestination. Reformed theology does teach predestin that d double predestination in so far as that not everybody will be saved. And so it's double or nothing, really. You can't have single predestination and not and, and just ignore uh, the non-elect, uh, or unless you're a universalist. But the distinction is this: we have what we call a positive-negative decree or an asymmetrical view of election. I have a, an essay on this whole subject in uh, the. Uh, a uh, festgriff that was written for John Gerstner several years ago, where I wrote extensively on the subject of double predestination. But the positive negative says that God positively uh, involves himself in working faith and creating faith in the hearts of the elect while he simply passes over the non elect without forcing them into unbelief or creating any kind of fresh evil in them. So it's positive in the one hand where he intervenes to create faith, negative in the other hand where he doesn't intervene and, and create fresh evil. I hope that clarifies it a little bit for you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.